correction. A speedster is a person who has the speed force. So Quicksilver isn't a speedster, nor is Supman. Duh. The Flash and Quicksilver are two of the most popular speedsters in all of comic book history. And even though a lot of people love to put these two against each other, they both move at really fast speeds. Aside from the Speed Force, in the Flash TV show and Age of Ultron, it's stated that they are both able to have so much energy to move so fast because of their ridiculously sped up metabolisms. Basically, the process that takes place to make you have energy from all that junk you throw into your stomach. Every day is cheat day. This all leads to an entirely new question though. Wouldn't that make them age fast? Like thinking about it, people with fast metabolisms need more and more of their cells to keep up with the fast-paced conversions from food to energy. To keep up with it, cells replicate to keep making more until they die. They have a limit. These things replicate and replicate until it becomes so short, shorter than a 5-year-old's attention span, that the cell division just stops. The more energy they use up, the faster they run out of energy, the faster they die. So that begs the question, do they really age fast? Why does he still look like a teen here with one of the strongest jawlines out there, and how come he barely looks like he aged in the span of 10 years? Well, it's cause the science behind that theory doesn't really hold any significance beyond that. To a certain extent, it makes sense. But then when you spend more time thinking about it, it starts eating its own logic from the inside out. Remember when you were younger and you were always told how regular exercise is good for your health? They don't say that to get you killed early. Unless you actually done someone dirty, then they probably send you up for something. <laughs> people that work out regularly, for the most part, don't shorten their lifespans when compared to people who don't at all. And they use up much more energy whenever they're hitting the weights. In reality, aging isn't really connected to metabolism. It's more so connected to time. Einstein came up with a brilliant theory of relativity, where he explains that if you were to ever run so fast, the closer you got to the speed of light, the more time would start doing some weird things to you. You ever wonder why a car speeding by you at 60 miles per hour seems like it's going way faster than when it does the same when you're in a moving car? It's cause time is just an illusion. It functions differently for different observers. The faster you are, the more slowed down things appear to you. Let's say for one instance that you're the Flash or Quicksilver, or whoever you like, I don't know, it might be Dash. <laughs> and you're moving at 99.9% .9 the speed of light, traveling around the world over and over again for a long time. To everyone else, everything plays out like any other day. Saying good morning to their neighbors, giving Shelly a little walk, working that classic 9 to 5 job, the whole 24 hour shebang stays the same in their point of view. But for you, as you're running, you look around and you see everyone is virtually at a standstill. Everything seems to have slowed down so much. But the trick is, they're not the ones slowed down. It's your internal clock that has. Here's another example professors love to throw at you before they hand you the L in the form of an F. Imagine getting into a spaceship that's set to move near the speed of light. Say you spend 5 years in there moving at that unimaginable speed and return to Earth. When you meet up with the people you once knew, you find out that they've all aged 60 years while you've only aged 5. In each of your perspectives, time seems to be running normally for the both of you, even though you've aged much less than them. Like your best friend could really be your grandma's baby daddy kinda old. Your internal clock is slowed down significantly when you're moving near the speed of light. So in a sense, these guys wouldn't age fast. If anything, they would age slower. There's also many paradoxes that come from the relativity theory. Like you look back at the movies, and you notice whenever someone is moving past supersonic speeds, things appear to slow down. But based on what was just said, moving that fast would travel them into the future. So how does that work? If everything the Flash or Quicksilver sees is slowed down, how does that affect aging? Like if they were traveling near the speed of light, and time is moving faster to everyone else on Earth, Shouldn't they see the world happening like a sped up YouTube video? It's easier to imagine on the spaceship scenario because you don't actually see things slow down around you. 
But here, it's different. Here's how to dance around the question. Wait, I wasn't supposed to say that. The movies do its best to depict how things would work, and they make sense for the most part. Except when they're standing still. Like right there, my guy. That explosion should have been long over since you were just standing there. I'm coming back and I'm taking a rap and bring it up when we come to the The thing is, time only slows down when you're moving. The films take some leeways with the physics and everything, cause I mean, it's a movie. Who even cares? They show time slowing down even when these guys are at a standstill for awesome set pieces. Yeah, everything would appear as if it weren't even moving to them, but the trick is, they wouldn't be able to tell what is happening. This is what they'd see for 5 seconds if they were going 800,000 times the speed of sound. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to realize what object is where, or even where they are, because their brain can't process anything. It takes 13 whole milliseconds for the brain to realize what the eye is seeing. So by the time they realized they were in New York running west, they'd already be at California. The brain sort of lags a bit. But now let's put you in their shoes. Say you're doing what they're doing for a whole 24 hours. I'm not sure where you'd get that willpower and energy from, but let's say if. Then by that time, after one day to you, years of Earth's time would have literally passed by in a flash. You couldn't tell whether time was moving slowly or not. You couldn't make out what any of this is. Nations Burger. The rules of physics are that as soon as they stop moving, time for them reverts back to how time flows to the rest of the people on Earth. So scenes like this. Should have been more like this. In the end, characters like The Flash and Quicksilver wouldn't age faster at all. The science behind the whole thing suggests that they could potentially age rather slower than others. But could is different from would. Let's just accept the fact that both of these guys can indeed view time slow down even when they're not moving. Let's pretend like some part of their body is moving pretty darn fast that causes them to see the world like this. Just like how we've been pretending real world science applies to fictional characters. These guys still have lives outside of their spandexes. They talk to people, interact with others, and do a bunch of other regular things. It'd be incredibly annoying for everyone around you to talk real slow to you all the time. And it'd most likely be aggravating for no one to understand what you say because of how fast you talk. Point is, there's gotta be an on and off switch to their powers somehow. They spend the majority of their lives walking with everyone else to live in actual, real life. And even when they do use their powers, they rarely ever come close to the speed of light. Because they rarely ever need to. Now I know some of you out there are gonna say, The Flash has indeed surpassed the speed of light numerous amounts of times in the comics. Though even then he didn't do it all the time. And he never ran that fast for a long period of time. Because most of the time, he doesn't need to. He never goes like 1 billion times the speed of light for 10 straight hours non-stop. Why would you ever need to do that? He just needs to be fast enough to do what he's trying to do. Sometimes that requires him to go faster than light to save everyone. But there are only so many plot lines where they have to make it so that he does have to go his max speed. He only pushes himself to his absolute limit if he truly has to, to get the job done. And there's another even bigger factor as to why you don't see him really age any slower than everyone else around him. And that's how long he runs for. For there to be any significant time dilation going on, they'd have to be going at least 10% the speed of light. And they need to be running that fast for a significant amount of time without stopping. Not just for a few seconds or a fraction of one. In the movies and TV shows, they only go their max speed when they absolutely have to. They run around for fun sometimes. I mean, who wouldn't? It's super speed. You could do so much with that. If you know what I'm talking about. Heel, 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 heel. But they don't usually go their absolute fastest, playing more or less around the 50 times the speed of sound range. That's not even 1% the speed of light. And when they are going their absolute fastest, they're only in that dilation for like a few seconds. Rarely minutes. In the fourth season of The Flash, Barry ran from Central City to China and back again all in under 3 seconds. Moving over 2.6% the speed of light. That's still lower than the 10% needed for dilation to be noticeable. And he didn't even run that fast for a long time. 
only doing so for three seconds. That much time under that speed won't really make them age slower by any real significance. Some of these guys can clearly surpass 10% the speed of light. But most of the time, they choose not to, because what would the point be? Running that fast would make them lap the Earth once every one and a half second. Most, if not all, of their missions don't require them to run that fast for over 10 seconds. Some of you might bring up the fact that the Flash did run for a very long time on one of the episodes of the TV show. Which is true! For the majority of episode 15, season 4, it stretches the event of an exploding nuke to nearly 30 or 40 full minutes. But none of that is really a factor. When it comes to these types of speedsters, the only thing that really does matter is how much time is passing in real time. Cause dilation is measured through time passed for the flash with respect to it passing for everyone else. This means that yes, he would be aging faster because real time remains the same, but by how much his aging is affected, in a way, cancels out with Einstein's idea of relativity. In this case, the whole episode takes place in the span of 1.3 milliseconds. Even though Flash is traveling over 4% the speed of light, and time should be fast forwarding for everyone else as opposed to it slowing down, the fact is that time just works differently for them. And no, it's not because the speed force breaks the law of physics, because both of the Quicksilvers experience this. And hell, even Superman experiences this. It's not that time dilation is completely ineffective towards them, it's that the effects of it are just gradually reduced because of their side powers that come with super speed, making the side effects of fast movement more bearable. Just like how when they're injured, they all still feel pain, they're not invincible. Well, except for, you know. Do you bleed? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but their healing rate is just increased. For this, it's the opposite. They still experience dilation, but because of their powers, its effects get so infinitely small that it becomes irrelevant. Maybe they bought themselves an extra day or two over the course of their journeys. Doesn't really sound like much of a benefit. The chances of them getting an extra 10 or 20 years from running is probably less likely than the chances are of you pausing an online video game match. In short, it's not their increased metabolisms that affects their aging, it's the very fact that they're running. Time for them is warped in such a way that makes their internal clock slow down. The faster they go, the slower they age. You never really see any big differences with their looks and the people around them, cause the way time works for them practically cancels out any effects the laws of physics has on their bodies. Why his hair says 79 but his face says 25 is beyond me though. Anyways y'all, that's all for this video. I hope you've had a great day so far and I want to hear something from you guys. Who do you personally like better, The Flash or Quicksilver? Which version of the character is your favorite and why? Let me know down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that seductive like and subscribe button. Also, come on over and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And for more of my videos, just click right here.